हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो लेट अस स्टार्ट लेक्चर ऑन आईएलडी फॉर कंटिन्यूस बीम्स आईएलडी फॉर कंटिन्यूस बीम्स सो फर्स्ट लेट मी कंपेयर दी इफ वी मेक दिस कंटिन्यूस बीम एज अ डिटर्मिनेट बाय प्रोवाइडिंग हिंज Uh, and then uh, the comparison of ild qualitatively i will draw and then we will go by uh, procedure how to draw what is the procedure how to get those quantity etc so first very simple approach so uh, the way we did by muller breslau so let us uh, compare maybe let me mark line like this so let us call as a determinate beam and then indeterminate so if we have a continuous beam let's take simple example okay and then uh, so this is not a determinate to make determinate you will have to provide hinge here so it will become determinate and then uh, you label this as maybe a b c so uh, there are various um, ild is possible maybe r a r b r c and then sf uh, at z in a b section and sm at uh, z in b c section or bending moment at z in a b section and bending moment at uh, z distance in b c section so let us see how it comes for determinate so ild for r a we will draw so how it looks like if you see here ild for r a will be like unit you have to take and then this will be ild for r a and then uh, 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 same ild how it will look like suppose this is a continuous beam and now i am not providing hinge uh, because this is a uh, indeterminate structure so as compared to this how it will look like so if you see here so you will provide same unit displacement here and then if you take this so you'll have to provide no it will look non linear way something like this so so this is the ild for uh, ra in case of non linear so you can see it's a trend is similar to that but uh, in case of linear it becomes rigidly straight here it goes non linear and it goes if this side is a positive the other side it will go to negative so that continuity you have to maintain so that once you remember the trend then you will see whether quantitatively when you will solve your answers are correct or not similarly we will try for rb ild for rb so how it looks like ild for rb so you will provide you will pull this beam by unit displacement here so one and then it will be this will be linear and this will be linear so uh, same way if you uh, draw it here in case of non linear so uh, you will have to provide here unit displacement where rb is ild of rb you are drawing and then this will be non linear so this will be non linear so it will be concave ish you will see why this is coming concave ish and then uh, <coughs> once we have this ild for rb then we can draw similarly ild for rc also so how it will uh, look like so you you provide unit displacement at c unit displacement at c so it will be this part will be linear this part will be the linear that is the ild for uh, rc so similarly uh, let us draw ild for uh, rc in case of um, uh, indeterminate structure so how it will look like so you'll have to provide unit displacement here maybe unit displacement and then it will come something like this so you can see this is concave ish and so that then this it, this side it becomes convex and negative so that's how the ild of rc quantitatively we can draw so we 
have seen very simple uh, first of all we have to understand uh, wherever uh, like suppose RAILD we have to draw it is to be given unit and then it will remain straight as it is a hinge it is not continuous so that is a determinant so indeterminate it will continue the uh, more of this thing displacement on the other side also similarly for RB and similarly we will get for RC let me draw now ILD for SF uh, in SF at Z distance in uh, you can say AB span let us draw it in AB span okay so this is AB span this is AB span and this is BC span and let us say this is Z distance so it will look like something like this and this will be I guess as you know Z by L and this will be e 1 minus Z by L okay similarly here also uh, it will look like something like this suppose this is Z distance so it will be something like this non-linear and then this will also be non-linear and the other side it will go and as a negative so that will be uh, SF at Z okay so in uh, AB span so if we say Z is in BC span if we have Z in BC span how will you draw the ILD so it will be for the uh, determinate structure it will look like this so whereas for the non-linear uh, sorry for the indeterminate structure how it will look like so here what will happen similar to that it will be concave -ish and this concave -ish part other side it will become convex so this is how the non-linear ESF will look like and then let us try similarly ILD for bending moment at Z. So, bending moment at Z ok. So, bending moment at Z. Uh, so, if you take in a, a B span Z distance somewhere here. So, uh, then this will be like a triangular linear so please bear with me this is straight line this is straight line ok and then uh, in case of non uh, indeterminate it will be concave -ish. and then this concave -ish other side it will become convex so this is how um, the ILD will come for the bending moment so similarly if Z is in the other span Z is in other span so it will look like something like this bend ILD will look like something like this so whereas uh, in case of uh, this thing indeterminate structure it will look something like this so it will be non-linear and this will be concave -ish. this will be concave -ish. so it will become other side it as a convex and negative side so this these are the uh, like comparative trends you can see for the uh, ILD for bending moment ILD for Z so basically this is very important mostly from civil engineering point of view uh, more than reactions shear force diagram and bending moment diagram of ILD are important uh, so uh, you will have to practice uh, this so now how to draw this uh, in the quantitative forms just now what we have seen was uh, like a, a qualitative form so let us uh, understand how to solve this in a quantitative form so for that uh, we will take one example and then we will try to solve that example okay so let me take one example here so it may be asked something like this uh, draw ILD for draw ILD for a continuous beam ok so before we go ahead uh, let me quickly write the uh, tentative steps uh, to solve this example so uh, this is uh, what we will have to uh, do step one 
what is step one is we have to draw ild of determinate structure draw ild of determinate i have shown you just now how to draw ild of determinate so in determinate structure will be converted as a determinate and then if you have to draw the ild of ra then you will have to first draw ild of determinate ild of IL, uh, ra determinate structure and convert it by dividing ei in 1 by ei form okay so first we have to draw ild and divide it by ei so you will get all the quantities as a 1 by ei so this is called determinate displacement it will this will be called as determinate displacement step one step two find fixed end moment find this is important all these steps are same for uh, all the ILDs whatever may be uh, two span three span fixed and everything steps are same find fixed end moments moments due to due to above displacement that is whatever is calculated above displacement okay and then uh, we have to apply apply moment distribution method and find yand moments find yand moments so we have to find yand moments and that is yum we will call that as a yum okay then step 3 find indeterminate displacement mm, using conjugate beam method so formula is indeterminate displacement is equal to k m l square by e i m we have already calculated k i will not go how this k is obtained but you should note the formula it is n minus n cube by 6 and you know n is interval and n is equal to 1 where this m is applied so you have to remember where to start n is equal to 1 so that is n is varies from 0 to 1 so you can go by reducing 1 to 0 but put 1 in n is equal to 1 where moment is applied okay so and then last step that is step 4 that is final ild is equal to ei into determinate displacement calculated in step 1 plus you can say step 1 ok plus indeterminate displacement indeterminate displacement that is calculated in step 3 ok indeterminate displacement that is calculated in step 3 ok so that's how uh, we we will have to uh, get the uh, all the solutions so we will solve one example so that you can understand the steps so let me uh, let me take example uh, draw ild for given continuous beam so here you have to uh, remember the interval uh, sometimes it is told as uh, you take four interval five interval 
or it will be told that take interval at 1 meter, 2 meter. Uh, so, it varies. So, let us uh, consider here interval at 1 meter. If such condition is not given interval, uh, take interval condition, you can decide on your own whether to take quarter interval or 20 percent interval or something like that. So, here it is given like 1 meter interval uh, it is told and then uh, here beam uh, is uh, given something like this. So, this is 5 meter and this is uh, 4 meter and if you can see 1 meter interval means in this span uh, it will be like uh, 1 5 uh, that is 1 1 meter uh, means total uh, is 5 meter. So, you can uh, divide 1 meter means there will be 5 intervals. So, it will be like 1 by 5. So, uh, it will come as a 0.20 that is 20 percent interval. Whereas, here this side if you take 1 meter interval that is 1 by 4 that is 0 0.25, 25 percent interval. So, um, that is how we will have to take interval. So, let us go uh, this uh, step by step solving. Uh, step 1 is uh, what you can see here. Uh, what is step 1 is uh, draw ILD of determinate structure and divide by EI. So, uh, first we will draw uh, in this case ILD for in this problem ILD for RA. In the exam it will be told either you draw ILD of R A, I L D of R B or I L D of R C or shear force at Z, shear force at uh, uh, bending moment at Z etc. So, uh, time being uh, in this lecture I am focusing mainly on reaction. So, let us focus on reaction at A. So, how step 1 is what we have seen just now um, that is we have to make this structure as a determinate structure draw I L D of determinate. So, it becomes a 1 and then divided by EI ok and then we have to take intervals at uh, point 20 in this region. So, this will become if this is 1 then this will become point 8 by EI, this will become point 6 by EI, this will become point 4 by EI, this will become point 2 by EI. So, I hope it is uh, clear. So, first you have to draw 1 by EI then keep on reducing 0 0.8, 0 0.6, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 because we want at 1 meter interval if this is a 5 meter from here this is 4, uh, 3, 2, 1 and 0. So, you can see how we have taken. So, this is the determinant. Now, let us go to step 2. We have to find out fixed end moment because of this 1 by EI displacement. Now, how will you find the uh, moment generated because of this fixed end moment? Imagine that beam is sinking upward direction. As you know, if beam sinks in a uh, downward direction A, then it will be 6 EI delta by L square, 6 EI delta by L square and here it is going upward. So, again it will create something like this. So, it will create a negative that is anti-clockwise uh, moments 6 EI delta by L square, 6 EI delta by L square. So, uh, fixed end moments uh, A B is equal to uh, minus 6 EI delta is 1 by EI, delta is 1 by EI and uh, then L square L is how much 5 meter, L is 5 meter. If you do that, uh, you will get the answer as a minus 0.24 and similarly, FEM BA is also same value and that to negative. So, it will be minus 0.24. Now, we got fixed and moment generated because of this displacement. In this region, there is no displacement, so no fixed end moment. So, uh, let us uh, apply the uh, as suggested in the steps moment distribution method. Uh, for applying moment distribution method, you have to calculate distribution factors at B. So, let us calculate distribution factor at B. So, that is DFBA, DFBA is equal to what is DFBA? 3i by L 
थ्री ई आई बाई एल इज एल इज फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री ई आई बाई एल दैट इज थ्री आई बाय फाइव प्लस थ्री ई आई बाय फोर थ्री ई आई बाय फोर एंड दिस कम्स आउट टू बी आई गेस पॉइंट फोर टी फोर एंड देन डी एफ बी सी इज इक्वल टू डी एफ बी सी इज इक्वल टू वन माइनस पॉइंट फोर्टी फोर इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट फिफ्टी फाइव ना वी गॉट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फैक्टर लेटस क्विकली अप्लाई दी मोमेंट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन मेथड सो लेट मी टेक दिस स्पैन सो एक्चुअली हियर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फैक्टर इट इज अ फ्री एंड सो फुल वन हियर वन दिस इज पॉइंट फोर्टी फोर एंड दिस इज पॉइंट फिफ्टी फाइव and then uh, moments these are uh, this is minus 0.24 this is minus 0.24 00 0. so these are a uh, pm and then we will balance how will you balance so here complete balancing 0.24 here the difference is we have to do positive uh, plus 24 so plus 24 into 0.44 it will come out as a 0.106 And then this side point twenty plus point twenty four into point fifty five it will come as a plus point one thirty four. Then we will have to do carry over. If we will this will half will come. This will not go this side, so it will become plus point twelve. Then again uh, we will have to balance point twelve by multiplying point forty four, and that is to negative balancing. So this will be zero point uh, zero. Uh, 53 on this side it is minus 0.067 so that's it balance has happened and now there is no more carry over so if you add this this will be zero this will be zero if you add this it will be minus 0.067 and this will be plus 0.067 and this value it is called as a m Uh, in the step three, what we have to use, if you recall here, step three K M L square by E I. So this yum is nothing but don't go by sign. So this yum is nothing but zero point zero six seven zero point zero six seven. Now we have to give direction. How will you give direction? So it's a uh, you'll have to take something like this, and then. Uh, if you see this negative is going which direction anti clockwise so this will be pushing something like this and this is going clockwise so this is pushing so as this beam is pushing downward so this will have negative sign and this will have also negative sign so this moment has created negative effect so and then as i told you we have to calculate k values because moment is Uh, in uh, indirect displacement is kml square by ei k values how will you calculate k values using n values so and i as i give one more condition that take n is equal to 1 where m is applied where moment is applied moment is applied at joint uh, so you will have to take n is equal to 1 here and then uh, if you take n is equal to 1 here so you can uh, go on distributing n to 1 and you remember here distribution is 0.20% uh, interval is of 0.20% and this side interval is of 0.25% so let me distribute so if this is 1 then this will be 0.8 0.6 and then 0.4 0.2 and 0 and this side it will be if this is 1 then this will be 0.75 Uh, then point five, point twenty five and zero. Now, uh, once we know the n values, how to calculate k values? So, uh, if you know, uh, then uh, we have to calculate the k values. So, if this this is zero, so let us label this as maybe uh, uh, y zero, y one, and y two, y three. Y four, Y five, Y six, Y seven, Y eight, and Y nine. Okay. So accordingly, let us uh, maybe calculate uh, k values. Okay. Uh, let's say k zero. Hmm? 
so for this n is equal to 0 what will be k value k is equal to this formula is n minus n cube by 6 is equal to so it will become 0 because 0 minus 0 everything is 0 so then n is equal to 0 0.2 if you put n is equal to 0 0.2 what you get is n is equal to 0 0.2 k is equal to 0 0.2 minus 0 0.2 cube 0 0.2 cube by 6 and this it you will get it as a 0 0.032 please pay attention uh, you should be able to calculate k value using this formula if you are not able to calculate k then you will not able to get the answer if you put n is equal to 0.4 k is equal to n is equal to 0.4 we have to calculate k it will be 0.4 minus 0.4 cube by 6 and this comes out to be 0 0.056 0 0.056 then n is equal to 0 6 k is equal to 0 0.6 minus 0 0.6 cube by 6 is equal to it comes out to be 0 0.064 and then n is equal to 0 0.8 k is equal to uh, 0 0.8 minus 0 0.8 cube by 6 it comes out to be 0 0.048 and for n is equal to 1 k is equal to 1 minus 1 cube by 6 is equal to 0 ok that was for this this part ok so similarly we can continue n is equal to 0 0.75 n is equal to 0 0.5 n is equal to 0 0.25 n is equal to 0 so I will continue n is equal to 0 0.75 k is equal to 0 0.75 minus 0 0.75 cube by 6 answer comes to be 0. 0.0546 please be careful sometimes while writing we forget this 0 n is equal to 0 0.5 k is equal to 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 cube by 6 and that comes out to be 0 0.0625 and n is equal to 0 0.25 k is equal to 0 0.25 minus 0 0.25 cube by 6 is equal to 0. 039 okay so and then n is equal to 0 of course k is equal to 0 so this is how we got the k values now uh, we will uh, you know uh, final step that is final ild that is ei into determinate displacement which is calculated in step 1 plus indeterminate displacement that we have to calculate by kml square by ei kml square by e now let me uh, take this and uh, parallelly you know the k values now i will not uh, show mm. so we will start here we will calculate y0 total displacement ild displacements we are calculating so it is nothing but what is formula ei into bracket determinate displacement plus indeterminate displacement okay so uh, what is uh, let us start with y0 y0 ei so what is determinate displacement let us go to y0 location is this okay that is starting point so what is determinate displacement it is 1 by ei so please remember this is ild of ra so this will be 1 by ei plus indeterminate displacement what is formula k m l square by ei k m l square by ei is equal to ei in bracket 1 by ei plus k what is k for this n is equal to 0 for n is equal to 0 k is equal to 0 so it will be 0 so you can see here ei ei get cancelled and then y0 is 1 y0 is 1 so uh, similarly let us call it for the y1 y1 how to calculate for y1 so here this is y1 okay that is at point y1 y1 so y1 
how are we calculating again same formula ei in bracket so where will be y1 that is second point here also determinate second point is 0.8 by ei this is 1.8.6.4.2 point so second one is 0.8 by ei 0.8 by ei plus k ml square what is k value for n is equal to this thing 0.2 n is equal to 0.2 n is equal to 0.2 what is value of k that is 0.032 0.032 and sign is not plus but it is minus so y minus we have seen that this is pushing downward so this should be sign should be minus 0.032 m is calculated by moment distribution that is 0.067 0.067 and l is span is 5 meter so into 5 square divided by ei once you understand this problem becomes very easy so that is equal to if you see what is the answer for this so this will be 0.0 75 okay and uh, similarly let us go to y2 now quickly we will go ei after 0.8 it will be 0.6 by ei okay and then minus minus what is k value for uh, this thing this is 0 0.56 0 0.056 into 0 0.067 into phi square by ei please don't get confused with this ei uh, this thing determinate displacement so determinate displacement at this point is 0.6 whereas n value is 0.4 because we are measuring n is equal to 1 from here B but here this one started from here that's why where determinate displacement is 0.6 n value is 0.4 and for n is equal to 0.4 k value is 0 0.056 so that way we will have to be very careful that confusion happens so this will come out as a 0. Point 0 0.51 similarly uh, let me now next values quickly write next three values y3 is equal to ei in bracket 0 0.4 by ei minus 0 0.064 into 0 0.067 into 5 square divided by ei and that will give us is equal to 0.29 okay similarly we will go for y4 y4 is equal to uh, 0.2 by ei 0.2 by ei so it minus 0 0.048 into 0 0.067 into 5 square by ei and if you do that it will be 0.12 and the center point now if you see the center point is this center point n is equal to 1 k is equal to 0 and this displacement also comes as 0 0 plus 0 it will come as a 0 so y5 is equal to ei in multiplied by ei ei in bracket 0 plus 0 is equal to 0 now mm, let us go to the uh, second span that is bc span can you see the determinate displacement in bc span is 0 so always the first uh, term will be 0 in the for the next 1 2 3 next 1 2 3 4 values the first term will be 0 because determinate displacement only there will be indeterminate displacement and now instead of uh, span 5 it, that will be uh, 
like a span 4 meter because this span is 4 meter and then uh, k values are uh, n is equal to 1, k is equal to 0, n is equal to 0 0.7, 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0 and respective k values are here. Let me put those values and get answers y6 is equal to again I am saying ei into determinate displacement is 0 plus indeterminate displacement k um, ml square by ei now k is uh, for 0 0.75 n it will be 0 0.054 into 0 0.067 it's a minus value so 0 0.067 into 4 square divided by ei is equal to in and uh, it will come out as a minus 0.059 and then similarly y7 is equal to y7 is equal to ei in bracket 0 minus uh, 0.0625 into 0 0.067 into 4 square into 4 square divided by ei divided by ei is equal to is equal to y7 is equal to minus uh, 0 0.067 0 0.0 Six seven. Similarly, y eight is equal to y eight is equal to e i in bracket zero minus zero point zero three nine into zero point zero six seven into four square divided by e i, and this comes out to be minus zero point zero four one nine, and y nine is equal to e i into zero plus sorry 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. So now uh, in this way we got all the values of y that is y0, y1, y2, y3, y4, y5, y6, y7, y8 and y9 and then using those uh, 9 values of y let me uh, quickly draw this uh, ILD and as I told you uh, this is the uh, determinate ILD, indeterminate ILD is like continuous like this. So first we will draw ILD as we know the general trend. So let us first draw. So it is like a concave as you can guess here and you can draw something like this and on this you can put Y0 then Y1 y2, y3, y4, y5, y6, y7, y8 and y9. So let us put the values what we have calculated. So y1 is 1, y2 is sorry y0 is 1, y1 is 0 0.75. Uh, y2 is 0.51, y3 is 0 0.29, 0 0.29, y4 is 0 0.12, y4 is 0 0.12, y5 is 0 and uh, y6, y6 is minus 0 0.059, so minus 0 0.059 so this is negative you can note it has gone down so minus 0 0.067 the highest value okay and then minus 0 0.0419 and 0 so this is the ILD for RA we'll stop here in the next lecture we'll continue with ILD for RB